For our side lunge with the slider, right now we're just loaded with the one hand, but you can use a weight in each hand. You could do this body weight as well. We're gonna slide our booty back while that foot slides to the side, and we're gonna engage that glute. We're gonna feel that nice stretch through our inner side, inner leg. Yes, beautiful. For our lateral moving side lunge, we're gonna start with our um, weight in one hand on the same side as the leg with the slider, the toe on. For our lateral moving side lunge, we're gonna have our toe on a slider and that same side will have a weight in hand. You could, again, you could have a weight in each hand, totally your call. We're gonna step out with our um, stable leg. We're gonna slide the booty back and we're gonna drag that toe in. We're gonna make sure our toes point forward on our moving side, right there, and drag. Another variation is a weight plate on the ground, so no slider, and you can use weight. I would not start with weight in hand, but you can take that side lunge. You're gonna really watch your toes, and then you're gonna drag that weight plate in. You're gonna really feel that inner thigh kick in right there. For our final inner thigh side lunge variation, it's also, as always, hits glute on the working leg. Um, we're gonna have that leg, the toe on a slider, connected to a band that's anchored somewhere else. So we're gonna push our hips back, go into that side lunge. Now we're gonna resist that band and pull that foot back in. So you should really feel those inner thighs. We're not using weight because we wanna have a little bit more core engagement here. Nice, one more time. Big exhale on your way up, drive and pull.